Welcome to the Monday, October 17th, 2022 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. We'll let members and staff introduce themselves. Eric Gilbertson, member. Benjamin Chini, member. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett, member. And can we hear Liz isn't Liz. Liz is going off. She's going to try and log in over the phone. Okay. So anyway, Liz is here remotely. Hopefully. Liz, Liz Pritchard. So we can go ahead and start the meeting by letting Meredith review the remote meeting procedures. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen here. Um, DJ and Erica, this is the share screen part is really more for um people who are watching this meeting over orca media because it's live streamed um there will be some information for you as well but the the actual what's on the screen isn't so much for you all righty so um for anyone that is viewing this meeting via orca media you can participate in tonight's design review committee meeting via the zoom platform you can either paste this or type this web link into your browser, um, or you can call in using this phone number and this meeting ID. If you have any problems accessing the e meeting, please email me at mcrandall at montpelier-org. I will be monitoring my email throughout the meeting. Um, for those attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. For everyone attending, please keep your microphone on mute. If you're not speaking, this will reduce background noise. Um, and please reserve the Zoom chat function for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Um, otherwise, if you you know have something to say and it's it's not your application, then you can raise your hand. This isn't really going to apply to our current applicants who are on. You'll be called forward when it's your time to talk about your application. Um, we don't really have any members of the just general public on tonight. So um, I'm just going to say that in the event I get notice that the public is unable to access this meeting, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. Unless anybody has anything to add at this point, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? I'll second. All in favor of the agenda, speak your names. Eric, Ben. Stephen? Martha. No Liz yet. No word from Liz, but yeah. we will move on. We can move on to the first application for 53 Memorial Drive, owner Rexpo Development, applicant Ryan Coyne. Is Ryan here to speak or? We have uh, Erica Young who's here. Um, oh, okay. so Erica, if you could introduce yourself and your connection to the application, please. Sure, um, sorry. Uh, hi, my name is Erica Young. I oversee the motor fuels department for Sandry Energy, which is a subdivision of Rexpo Development that owns this property. And go ahead and describe your the application for changing the sign zone. So one of our initiatives this year, um, per the advisement of our insurance company, was to install LED signs where possible. Um, we've had some issues with these old antiquated signs with numbers falling out, either landing on people's cars or employees. <laughs> and I did hear the comment about gas prices changing um, daily. So that is an added benefit that we don't have to go out in the ice and the snow um, to do that. It's just become dangerous and the signs are old. So um, we've been trying to go through all of our properties and install these new LED signage where possible. So that's why we're submitting the application. Um, at this point, it likely won't happen until after the first of the year, just because of having to order the equipment. And how is, do the, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask, how do the dimensions of the proposed sign compare with the existing sign? 
So there, it's the exact same sign. Um, it, what we're doing is um, at, at Meredith, we, they had different standards. And so they had sharp edges. Uh, their, new, their new image um, had uh, square corners and um, we were told that that couldn't happen. So we ended up submitting a new rendering and it's actually going to go into the exact same facing that's there. So the dimensions are the same. Uh, the frame is the same. It's just the LED insert that'll be put in instead. Okay. And what is the difference between the day and night sign? <laughs> Uh, that's just their rendering in some of them, like for diesel, the, the, the number colors are different. Um, this one actually doesn't have that, but for diesel, it would actually be green and white. So they show you both, um, renderings, but there's really no difference. There's a note on the rendering that indicates that the final dimensions are to be determined by engineering. Are we pretty certain that these are the final dimensions? Yes. Okay. And is there a place for three prices? I see that on the existing sign, there are three pricings and the proposed digital is two. And it says Correct. regular, regular go rewards and regular. Is there a separate diesel posting? We don't have diesel at this facility, and um, the Sunoco standards is that you don't advertise the mid or the ultra anymore. Okay. Oh. And on the rendering, it says night, and it looks like a different color. I think they're just trying to depict the, the dark background. Um, it okay. looks black, but it's just, I think it's just meant to show that darker background to show how the LED will look against the nighttime. Okay. But the, the color is just the dark blue? Correct. Okay. Any comments, questions from committee members? Maybe. Okay. And Liz, that's you back on, right? Yes, I'm back on. Um, awesome. And I have no comments. I looked at the materials beforehand. So to me, I thought it looked okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Okay. In that case, I can go through the criteria for signs in the design control district. The size, location, design, color, texture, lighting, and material of all exterior designs within the design review overlay district shall be compatible with the buildings and structures of the site and surrounding properties. That's acceptable. Sign design, color, and topography shall respect historic precedents where appropriate and shall be the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings. Acceptable. Sign support structures shall be compatible with the building architecture and must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves. Acceptable. And that's basically it. All in favor of the application is presented. Speak your names. Eric. Ben. Steve. Lynn. Yes. And Steve says yes as well. Liz. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. So the vote has passed. So Erica, um, because they didn't make any recommendations for ch changes to the sign, um, I'll take this recommendation form that Steve is filling out and we should get the permit issued in the next couple of days. Um, normally we would mail that, um, but I think, what does Ryan have on here? don't think we want to mail that to greenfield massachusetts um we'll be in touch with ryan about whether somebody from the gas station will come and pick it up um and the best way to get it because there's going to be a notice that's going to need to be posted at the gas station for the permit yeah you can email ryan we'll actually have our motor fuels manager come by the office and pick it up so we can take care of that perfect perfect and we'll make sure to, to email around a scan of the permit so you guys have it for your records okay perfect Awesome. Thank, thank you, you very Erica. much. You're welcome. And thank you for tweaking the framing issue. 
anything to make this happen. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. And we can move on to the next application for 8 State Street. Owner, Vermont Rental Solutions. Applicant, DJ Barry. Replacement of a wall sign. So, DJ, yep, there you go. Hi. Hi. Hello from London. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the, the um, remote system worked from there. It is pretty amazing. Zoom has their stuff together. <laughs> hey, it's working right now. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Go ahead and describe your application. Uh, Aeromed is the current occupant. They're going to be moving, and um, we will be. Uh, I'll be taking over the space in January, and I'm just looking to um, put the words and letters World Cal in the the name of my brand um replacing it what is the nature of the business uh world cow it will be a gallery an art gallery and a um shop retail space of what retail space um so so the art it will be different artwork um it will feature uh you know a variety of artwork over time and the shop will include apparel um gifts things like that all of those things incorporating your art yes world cow is my brand and it's um you maybe you've seen some of the world cow paintings around Montpelier. There's a big one on uh, what used to be Allen Lumber. So it'll be a lot of uh, apparel, gifts. Um, actually, most there's a lot of stores in Montpelier that currently carry my products, but now we're going to be. This will be our first brick and mortar um, for that. And then art is a. Uh, I'm a street artist. That's what I'm doing here in London is painting. And so it'll be, um, I'll be featuring artists from all over the world in this gallery. And uh, I'll be also selling my own paintings. Okay. Sounds very interesting. Re regarding the sign itself, what 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 was the basis for the the height and thickness of the letters on the building? Um, so I thought that the cleanest look um, after looking at all the other signs in Montpelier was the traditional lettering seemed to be um, a common theme, and I like I tried to incorporate my art into the sign, but it just didn't look as good and it wasn't as centered. And I thought that just the simple words of World Cow uh, kind of fit the uh, framing, the existing framing space and kind of played off that better than trying to, you know, kind of make it too much. So um, that to me, um, the rendering that I did uh, seemed to just, it just looked right for me. Um, this is Martha. I have no problem at all with the placement or the idea of, or the colors of what you have in mind, but it seems to me that the font is very heavy. Have you thought of doing something a little lighter? Um, so the font, um, interesting enough is, uh, it's Cooper Black. And um, I deal with a lot of trademarks and copyrights and you have to be very careful when using fonts. And that one is a completely free domain font to use commercially. So 
um, in terms of having it on my t-shirts, having it on the sign, um, it wasn't the original font I picked, but the original font I picked didn't have a commercial license attached to it. And um, Cooper Block is a very common font that's used um, that I thought was as closest to the font I, I started using with all my t-shirts. Um, I, I just think it, it is bold and looks, I think it, it, it's intriguing and will draw people in. And so it was, it was my most desired font out of all of them. Yeah, I understand the, your point. The, the, but... I'm sorry, go ahead. The, the readability of the sign has as much to do with contrast as it does with the height, height and thickness of the letters. So if you, if again, the, the, there's no issue with the font, but it's the, the heaviness of the font as Martha had described. Um, and in many historic districts, a rule of thumb, and it's not in our regulations, but a rule of thumb is that the height of the letters is one inch for every 10 feet of visibility. And if you're looking at even a, a hundred feet away, that's basically a 10 inch letter. Yours are 15 inches. And and it's not, not so much the height, but the thickness of the letters. If the letters were thinner, you would show more dark background against the white letters, which would actually make it more readable. If, if you have any thoughts regarding that. I, I do. I, I, I carefully took a synopsis of like rabble rouser, for example, and, and that's my, a really, that's a bad example because my, that's well, my, is my, way too my, large for the, <laughs> My my letters are a lot smaller than half the businesses in town, and um, you know I I thought that I was doing a pretty good job of being considerate and moderate in that sense. I could have made them bigger to fill that space more, um, but I I think it's really important. I think World Cow is going to be a destination and is going to. Um, I, I fundraise for charities around the world, but with this particular business, I'm going to bring it back to Montpelier and I'm going to bring it back to fundraising for charities all over central Vermont. And so I, I really, I know that this is, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is it might seem big, it is big. Um, and if it feels a little too much, um, I really think that there that it's going to do a great service for the city and that that will be shown in time. And I don't know, um, you know, I, at this point in the game, I'm already, uh, I'm, you know, producing a lot of clothing and, and trying to use this new font. Um, it's not, it, it's a, it's a fun font, but, um, you know, I, it's not a big square um, signage or anything. I'm really trying to preserve that black background. Black and white is kind of the Holstein cow theme. And so I think it's really important that when you look at world cow, you see black and white, not lots of black and little bits of white, um, you know, an even sort of play there. So I'm, I am very passionate about the Cooper black font. It's not so much the font, it's the heaviness of the font. And, and if you look at the W or the R, for instance, there's very little black showing through the letter. And the letter becomes actually more readable with more black showing through the white lettering. I, I would it's disagree. Not, it's not the font so much as the heaviness of the letters. I feel that the font is very readable. I think that it's very clear that it says World Cal and that it's very important to my brand that that font is thick. Um, you know, I, I, I think that to use a thinner font would do an injustice to what we're trying to do. 
Um, I'm not trying to be conservative on the lettering of my signage. I'm trying to make a statement and promote kindness on a global scale and put right. Vermont on the map for that. I think that everything from our message and street art around the world to our font that we use on our sign, it's important that it does make a statement and that it does, um, it, that it's bold. And to reduce that would be, I really feel an injustice. Steve, can I step in for just a second? Sure. A sort of right mediator ahead. a little bit. So DJ, they're not trying to be critical, just so you know there's there are um signage organizations nationwide signage organizations that have a bunch of statistics out about readability of signs at a distance and especially in moving vehicles and things about how if the font is really big it actually takes a brain longer to process the words and so you don't actually get them processed till after you've gone past the store. So they're they're actually trying to help you. They're not they're they're not trying to be like a really critical or change the I, I the, the, I, the, I, the context I, of it, right? They're they're trying they're trying to make sure that the sign is readable yeah. quickly enough and for people's brains to process it quickly enough so they actually come into your store. That's all. I'm not I'm not saying like how how to how to say what I'm just it's sounding like you're you're getting really concerned and i'm just trying to make sure you understand where um, I, steve I, and some I, of the other members are coming from that's all thank you meredith and i and i completely appreciate and understand that um and you know as an artist um doing following my heart and i looked at hundreds of fonts so so you know things that feel right this font feels right i know that this sign is not going to be the thing that's bringing people to Montpelier and to my business. Um, this font and this sign is a very world cow feeling that I have as an artist. And, um, you know, I, I have no concern on a sign bringing traffic into my store. I really don't because, um, what we're doing at World Cow and, and what what this brand is 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 doing. Um, this is the beginning of something very big and I'm very excited about it. And um, you know, I, I don't have concerns there, but what I do have concerns on is is you know painting my cow and then somebody telling me to put a collar on it or a cowbell on it or shrink it and make it look skinnier or make my cow have a tail that's flashing a certain way. Um, if I were to do what works for everyone, I, I just don't think I'd be where I am today if I didn't follow you know, inside what I felt was right in my heart. I think DJ, that, that one of the things that we're coming from is that what we are looking at is the overall tone of the town itself and whether or not this fits in with what we see in the rest of the town. That is one of my concerns. Well, I think the that- heaviness uh, of the, font, the, the heaviness of it, gotcha. It's the heaviness of the font. If you look at the one, one of the criteria uh, that's either acceptable or unacceptable for the application is the size of the sign color, texture, contrast, and is it compatible with the building and surrounding properties? And the, the heaviness of the, of the lettering and the sign is really not compatible if you look at adjacent properties. And again, and it, it, the font is fine in a, in, a, uh, in a thinner lettering, possibly, but so, the that sign so, is that that particular sign is heavier than the signs adjacent to it, and it doesn't have anything to do. I mean, you, nobody's trying to change your art or the cow or anything in your other. I mean, they're they're people who have logos, but they modify their logos just for their sign again to make the sign readable and 
fitting in with the historic downtown? So, so to that point, you know, the, the recent cannabis signs and Aeromed signs, um, that don't even fit the frame that they're in. I, I took a poll at the size of lettering on all the businesses and I was in the medium. And I just, I'm feeling that uh, this is not a good start to a relationship to my community. And I don't have to be in Montpelier. And I really, um, this is this is discouraging because this is, um, I can't make that font skinnier. I can't, I'm not going to, I'm, you know, like I can't put um, a Cooper Black and then some, it, it wouldn't be Cooper Black if I were to change those dimensions and shrink it. And, um, you know, not, it would. It's, it's it, not I, about making the sign less wide or less tall as much as it's about making the letters show thinner so that there's more background showing and it actually becomes more readable. Um, you can still, I mean, you uh, can still maintain that height, even though it's taller than you really need it to be. You can still maintain that height. But if the, if the letters were the same size, but thinner, not as, not as, not as fat. It could, wouldn't look quite as heavy, but it would still be, and actually be more readable. Quick, quick idea. I don't know if this is even possible. I'm, lo I'm would looking. It, would it be possible to do almost a, a thin black pinstripe inside? I'm, I'm looking at this it? sign now, and I, I am absolutely shocked that somebody cannot read World Cow that it's unreadable at any point on that street. I, think, I, I, I don't think they're saying it's unreadable. The I, sign next to me is unreadable. The Botanica, I mean, it's, I mean, you have to be sit, you have to be on that sidewalk to read that one. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that you guys have a problem with it being so bold and I, or just, you know, I mean, we're different at World Cow, and that's what makes us so special. We don't fit the mold for everything. And I really passionately believe that if we tried to fit the mold for everything, how can we succeed? Only by being different um, is it a way to really progress. And I'm just so disappointed um, that I just, this was something I wouldn't imagine and um that my peers would, would would give me a hard time on especially if they knew what i was trying to do for the community um if you're trying to help me and get more people in my store that's one thing but um yeah i i think that if we looked at statistics for signs that works it's like college all right college didn't work for me. i dropped out it works for a lot of people. And if I, you know, it's, I wouldn't be where I was today, where I am today. If I graduated from college, I dropped out because I went on a different path and it didn't work for me. Um, I get what you're saying, you know, for how a thinner line um, could, could be, but I look at rabble rouser. I look at these other signs that are up now that like the cannabis one that doesn't even fit the frame. And I think that I did a pretty darn good job making something fit that space. <laughs> I have that for And um, yeah, I don't know what to say at this point, except oh, that it sounds like- DJ, DJ, can you stop for just a second, please? This is Meredith. So you've heard from two out of five DRC members. Can um, can we maybe hear what the others have to say? And uh, Liz, just so you know, on the phone, you can do star nine to mute and unmute if you need to, especially if you're having a little bit of a yeah, problem you, with it. Yeah, you know, I thought you were muted and I realized you weren't. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Yeah, so star nine lets you mute and unmute. Um, yeah. So it sounds like Ben has something he wants to say. So just hold on just a minute, DJ, okay? Hi, DJ. Okay. I appreciate that you're willing to move a store here. I follow you on Instagram and I was just going through your website 
And I actually did create those rabble rouser signs as an aside. Um, I, um, and looking through your website, I appreciate the font and the text on your website, especially, I guess I'm looking under, um, I'm on the, the cows for a cause page under world world cow and the way that you use the, the text and the font on your website, I think is really quite elegant. And, uh, I have a lot of appreciation for that. I think it's similar to what Steve and Martha are speaking of is what kind of font would really look nice on your store. That said, I also believe that it's your store and your choice to put uh, whatever font you want up there because it's okay. it's your idea. That said, I see a connection between the font on your website and um, and the way that it's could be displayed on 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 the store and feel like it would look nice for our 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 town but it, this is your choice well listen i i have plenty of time and you know again i'm i'm over here in london doing this international festival um i uh i am not opposed to making another rendering and playing around with it <laughs> and just Coming back to you as long as I don't have to pay that hundred and eighty dollars again. No, no, uh, no. If you want to basically continue this meeting and come back with another, the next meeting. If we want to just kind of prolong it, it gives me enough yeah. time to uh, to to just dig in because I do value all community input. And to to what you were saying about the website, you know that's probably all going away. Um, that makes sense. It's very uh, at some point because I do have to redo that, so it is outdated. Um, but uh, just because with the store, there's a whole new system that I'm I'm implementing, so it, I might be redoing that website. But uh, but it yes, to me that you would want the website I, I, to read through the sign and. So I'm completely open to coming back home and um, just seeing what it would look like. You know what I mean? I have to do the Photoshop. I have to put the thin font on there. But it's very possible I could come back to the next meeting with the same exact font after I've done that and after I've tried hard to, to reduce it. Yeah, and you can also you can come back if you if you have you know choice ones and one and two where you're like I don't really want prefer this one but this is an option or even just to show them some of the things you came up with that you didn't like as much you can show that to them as well if you want you know you can Sarah, I haven't spoken yet which is unusual <laughs> but uh, the. I don't think it, I'm listening to what people are saying. I don't think anybody is objecting to the font itself. I think they're mm -hmm. objecting to the kind of heaviness of the letters themselves and the lack of open spaces in that font. And uh, I think a quite a small reduction uh, in the thickness of the letters uh, would make it make a difference. It would make it look better. It would make it more readable. Uh, just, and it doesn't really change your philosophical uh, uh, approach to it, as I, that I can see. The only issue is I would have to create another font. So just to <laughs> let everybody know, there's no way you can change Cooper, Blonde, Cooper Black, that specific font that I picked, to be thinner. So I would actually have to completely change the font. That's how that's just what it is i'm open to that i will do that when i get back to the states and we can regroup and and come back again together now, that, yeah. i think that's a good idea uh that's, that's a you have idea. until january before you occupy the property so we've got some time to deal with it yeah, so DJ, I, what I'll do is I'll put this as continued and we'll pencil, pencil you in for the next meeting if something comes up and you for some reason can't attend the next meeting, which would be November 7th. Um, then if we need uh, to, I, we can move it forward from there. But the next meeting will be November 7th. Thank you. Yes, I'll definitely be there. Okay. I, I, 
I can have this done by then. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I will do my best to see if I can find another font. And if I, if I can't, I will come back after trying. Um, and I promise you that I will uh, take everybody's um, input into full consideration and do some more renderings. And then I will send you those examples as well so that we can all look at them together for that meeting. That sounds awesome. Yeah. So send those to me, to Meredith, um, and I'll put those together in a updated packet for the committee. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. Great. And we appreciate your coming. And again, as Ben said, looking at the, uh, at your website, all the, the lettering on the site itself, the lettering on your t-shirt on some of the art, uh, is very, very nice and it there's a lot of open space and again it's that that lettering is very very readable and i hope you can find something similar that that would you would be happy with over your store that matches some of your other some of your other work i appreciate that thank you so the Thanks motion for being flexible appreciate it the motion is to table. All in favor of tabling and coming back? Eric said yes. Ben says yes. Steve says yes. Mark says yes. Liz says yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Have have a good night, and um, we'll come together on the 7th. Sounds okay. Good. Thank you. Enjoy your time in London. Thank you so much. Take care. Tell Banks say, say hi. I, I did see some Banksy work while I was here. And, uh, you know, I'll tell the painting you said hi, but I, I don't know the man personally. <laughs> of course not. That's what's so great about him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have, have a good night. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes from September the 6th and the 19th? Um, motion to accept the minutes of September 6th as written. Okay, all in favor of accepting the September the 6th. Well, we have a, a motion. Did anybody second that? I'll second it. All in favor of the September the 6th minutes, speak your names. He wasn't there. Steve says yes. Yes. And Ben says yes. So those are approved. Mm -hmm. And how about the September the 19th? I'll make the same motion to accept them as they're, as they're written. This okay. is Martha. And I'll second. So all in favor of the 19th, speak your names. Eric says yes. Martha. Steve says yes. I have to abstain. I wasn't there. Liz? Sorry. Sorry. Yes, I say yes. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thank you. Does anyone have anything else to bring up at this point? Or do I hear a motion to adjourn? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, the Planning Commission will be taking up the new design guidelines on Monday, the 24th, for their first meeting on those. So if anybody wants to attend, that meeting starts at 5.30. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And I'll make a motion to adjourn. And I'll I'll second that. Motion. All in favor of adjourn, adjourning, speak your names. Yes. And Steve. And Steve says yes. Liz, yes. So meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Liz.